Hardware wallets are one of the safest ways to store your crypto, and transferring your coins to a hardware wallet just takes a few steps. So stay tuned because we are going to walk through that process step by step in today's video. Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Command. Today we will cover how to transfer your Ethereum to your Ledger Nano wallet. So let's dive right in. To manage the crypto on your Ledger wallet, you will need the Ledger Live software. You can get that from the download section of the Ledger website. So downloads is a tab right here at the top of the Ledger website. This will take you over to Ledger Live and to actually get the download links, you will also have to click this download button and it will take you to a couple of different options. There are two primary options to run Ledger Live. One is the desktop version, the other is the mobile version. Today, I am going to show you how to do this from my desktop, but if there would be interest for me to cover the mobile version as well, let me know in the comments below and I'll cover that in a future video. All right, so here on the desktop side, you can see that there are download links for the Ledger Live app for Windows, Mac, and for Linux. I'm running a Mac today, so I would choose this Mac app download to get the Ledger Live software installed. I already have the Mac app installed, so let's just jump right over to that. So here we are on my Ledger Live software. This is the main interface up here in the upper left-hand corner. I'm also showing you my physical hardware wallet in the lower right-hand corner. You will need both and interact with both at the same time to be able to transfer your crypto over to your Ledger device. So here on Ledger Live, you can see, I can see my overall portfolio. There's currently nothing on this particular hardware wallet, but I can also move through accounts, send, receive, and there's also a ledger manager. In order to start working with a new crypto asset on your hardware wallet, manager is where you will need to start. Just to show you on my physical device, you can see that there is a settings option. There's also an install app option. These are the only two options available on my physical device right now because I don't have any crypto applications installed. So to install new ones, we will toggle over to Manager on the Ledger Live software. It's going to start communicating with my hardware device, so it takes just a second to load. And then you can see the full app catalog, all the different crypto assets that are available. We're going to do Ethereum today, so I'm just going to click Install on the app catalog to add the Ethereum app onto my hardware device. Just to show you, I'm working with a Ledger Nano S. It has a full capacity of about 160 KB. You can add about four apps at any given time. And you will see when I click install, this happens pretty fast, but it'll instantly tell you that 32 kilobytes are used and 102 kilobytes are free. So we're going to add the Ethereum app onto our device. And you will see it now gives us the green icon that it is installed and you can see that it now appears on the installed list should you ever want to remove one of the apps that you have installed on your hardware device you can click the trash can and it will say uninstall ethereum very important this does not delete your crypto you will not lose your crypto in any way the crypto actually get stored in your account. So that's what we're going to set up now. We're going to move back over to accounts. And you can see that currently I only have a Bitcoin account set up. If we want to have an Ethereum account, we're going to click add account. It's going to ask us which asset we would like to set up. And there's a drop down menu. Ethereum is an option here at the top. We click Ethereum and click continue. It's again going to start communicating with my device. And just like that, it recognizes that we have the Ethereum app installed on our device. It wants us to open it. So to open it, I'm going to press both buttons on the top. It says the application is ready. And so there is going to be a 
synchronization process as the device and Ledger Live start communicating with each other and setting up our Ethereum account. This is going to be the Ethereum address where you will be sending your Ethereum once this is all finalized. This takes just a minute to, to run through. It's pretty fast. Um, just while this is running, I'll just mention, if you don't already have your hardware wallet or looking to pick one up, I will include a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link, uh, but no additional charge to you. Feel free to use that or not. Um, just helps out the channel. So I'd appreciate it if, if you guys use the link there. While this is finishing up, um, We'll just let you know that you can have as many accounts as you would like on here. You can have multiple Ethereum accounts. As you can see, I've actually already had an Ethereum account installed on this device previously. And so what it's asking me to do is, do I want to add that existing account again, or do I want to add a new account? I'm just gonna use that existing account and click add account. And just like that, it's done, confirmation. And so now on my list of accounts that are available, Ethereum is there. So as easy as that, we have an account where we can now send Ethereum. So let's do that. I'm going to click on the receive icon and it's going to ask me what type of coin do I want to send? I'm going to select Ethereum and click continue. It's going to want the Ethereum account to or the ethereum app to be open on my phone or sorry on my hardware wallet and what you can see is i already had the ethereum app open and it wants me to verify the address to send the ethereum so i'm going to move through and show so that the address looks exactly like it does on ledger live that is my address that all looks okay so if I want to send to my Ethereum address, I can copy this address using this icon, and I'm going to open up an existing software wallet. So let's pull up that wallet, and you can see my Ethereum, we will update this later, we will be sending Ethereum from my software wallet. So let's say I want to send 0 0.1, sorry. I want to send to my address. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it into here. And so you can see that my address is match. I'm going to send, let's just say 0 0.1 ETH. Tells me what my Ethereum network fee is. I'm going to click send, sending over. And I'm just going to confirm that I approve on my hardware wallet. And my address has been shared securely. And just like that, my Ethereum has been sent. And we can look at my Ethereum address. Once it synchronizes, we will be able to see my Ethereum on Ledger Live. Okay, so that took just a second and we can now see that our 0 0.1 ETH is available in our account on Ledger Live. As simple as that, you can now, you can now store your Ethereum long-term on your hardware wallet. You can disconnect at this point and your Ethereum is secure. That's all there is to it. We can also send directly from Ledger Live if we wanted to send this back to somewhere where it's easier to work. If you wanted to send to an exchange, or in my case, I'll just send straight back to where I sent this from. So I'm going to copy my address. I'm going to say that I want to send my Ethereum. I'm going to enter in my address on my software wallet. I'm going to click continue. It will let you change your gas price depending on how much you want to, to pay and how fast you want that transaction to take place. I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to send the max. It's going to cost me, it's going to be a little bit less than 0 0.1 now because I have my gas fee attached. But I'm going to click continue and it will be sending from my Ethereum Ledger Live account over to this address. I will click continue. It will interact with my device and 
make sure that everything is there. It will always ask you to verify that and review this transaction. So if I want to review the transaction, I'll press right over on my device. It will confirm that that's the amount that I want to send. And it will also make me confirm the address to send. It takes three different screens to get through it. It will tell me what my fees are in Ethereum, and then it will give me the option to accept and send. Accept and send requires clicking both buttons. I will do that. And then it will start broadcasting the transaction and the transaction is sent. And just like that, all of my Ethereum is back in my wallet here on the software side. It will give me the history of the transaction and I can view that on the Ethereum Explorer if I so choose. So that's it guys, that's how you set up the Ethereum app on your hardware wallet, make an account for it, send and receive all within Ledger Live. I hope this is helpful. If it is, please give the video a like. It definitely helps the channel out. Also, if you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, until next time, thanks for watching Crypto Command, and remember to keep stacking those coins.